What do you make of Alt Velen saying life is light and life is light is life after he sacrifices himself? Okay, here's what I think. I think that the force that is most compatible. How do I put this? The force which appears. to be most compatible and uh, interchangeable for the cosmic force of life, I would say, would be light. That is to say that, like, light makes life grow more and makes it feel good, and it's, like, benevolent and all that or whatever, right? So I just think... um what you're asking me is essentially going to have me open up into a theory about A&R and Amon Thule using the power of one of the Sisters of Life, Ilune, to craft the Naru. Um, so, how do I put this? <clears throat> I think Velen is a fractal of Amon Thule um, in some regards. So the fact that he says it is quite interesting to me. Um, I think that the fact that Zira has runes floating above her head that are not in English lettering, but if you were to look at them like they're English lettering, they have an anagram for the word Aonar, and she's called the Light Mother. Um, Aonar constantly refers to herself as some type of motherly, queenly figure. She even calls us her children. Then Amonthul in the fight with Argus says children of Azeroth, so that could even be a, you know, a little slap in the face against Aonar. Um, I will say that, like, light and life very much go together, and I've had a theory for a long time about our sun, and what it is, <laughs> and who has been on the sun, and what the sun might have on it, and the fact that Anshe dropped the giant Naru crystal in SOD onto the ground has not dispelled my beliefs about the sun, <laughs> um, at all, <laughs> so, uh, uh, I'll put it this way, light and life are linked together inherently, um, I think at a cosmic scale at this point. Uh, and I think that the idea is that light can be interchanged with the energy that is life and kind of sustain it or, or vice versa. I think the question is though, at that point, I think about Kalia Menethil, right? Kalia Menethil is not a Forsaken. But she's also not alive. Kalia Menethil was resurrected by um, a Naru, Alonzus Fowl, who's an undead, a Forsaken, and by Anduin Rin. And uh, let's just say that like Kalia Menethil's life has quite literally been like replaced with light. So. What I'm trying to suggest is that, like, light can serve as, even if only temporarily, a replacement for the spirit of life, the spark of life, whatever whatever that is, if they're not directly related as well. By the way, I read just, like, a small thing out of Chronicle Volume 2 yesterday, and I realized that it says that the spirit of life is quite literally what caused from the spores of the spore mounds. The spirit of life is what ca caused the degradation of stone into flesh when the primal breakers sacrificed themselves to kill the uh, spore mounds. Um, the spores that were released, the spirit of life contained within them is what turned the orcs into flesh. Which is... kind of surprising. Makes you think about the essence of decay as well. Um, what does spirit and decay have to do with flesh? How does that work? Um, and yeah, I don't know. I think there's a lot, a lot of interesting stuff to look into there. So anyway, um, light and life being interchangeable. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, pretty much said about, about what I can say about that. Release the sun theory. I already, I, I have videos on it actually. Um, I have a couple of videos on what Azeroth's sun is. The Emerald Dream was very fascinating, I'll put it that way. I think the sun is a place that links to through to the Emerald Dream um, as a form of a gateway, but I think it can also link to other places, like I believe Elune can as well. Um, but that's more of a complex theory I'm not going to get into right now. Um, against what a cosmos divided cannot survive what is to come. I mean, 
if I had to pick one, I would say it's probably either the Void or the Force of Order. And I think that the Force of Order has been either intentionally or not, or not, but I think probably the fault of Aenar and Amundul mostly been spreading the Void. So ultimately, the Titans, I think, have, whether they realize it or not, accelerated the movement of the Void, and that could be extremely dangerous. I mean, that would be not good. And so the Titans and their ordering kind of dividing and separating and kind of pulling apart and trying to make an, an opposition to each other, pretty much everything, like, that division is not going to be able to survive. What the Titans have wrought in their ordering is not going to survive. And that's, I think, what Sargeras was most terrified of, and why he was enraged, and why he had such great fear, was because he perceived that the Titans were accelerating the cosmos towards in a state of heat death. And if that's the case, then that would be the most tragic, terrible ending to the story. Everything getting swallowed by the void and sitting in eternal torment for forever, no concept of time, forever, would be completely bereft of energy, would be the worst possible scenario. It's the, it's the worst possible scenario. And so if what the Titans have done has accelerated that effort, then, um, then they are the bad guys. And, I mean, if the Void is content to feast slowly, as it has been said, um, there's no need to accelerate it, and it's incredibly dangerous and reckless to do so. And I think that Zalatath hints at this when she says, you know, the research into the Light and Void here is commendable, but ultimately futile. How could they possibly hope to understand what the Titans did not? And if Zalatath is telling the truth, the Titans didn't understand the Void. The research into the Void here is commendable. She doesn't say light, she just says Void. But ultimately futile. And so if the Titans didn't, didn't understand it, then that could suggest that they all have inadvertently accelerated it <clears throat> and spread it. Just a silly question, who ordered the Titans? Well, the way it's written in Chronicle sure makes it sound like Amon Thule did it. But I think that Amonthul's a little bit of a, a little bit of a puppet for who's really behind it, and I think that's one of the most interesting twists that I perceive in World of Warcraft is that while I think Amonthul is a could be the big bad dude, like ultimately the bad dude, and not Sargeras, Sargeras could be just a bad dude doing it in another different kind of bad way, but. After what he did with the sword, I'm not so sure. Um, so. I don't know. I think uh, ANR is really... Uh, I'm, I'm just not... <sighs> How the stories of ripping out Yasharaj and ripping out Aluna here align, it's uh, extremely similar. And I'm concerned about Again, I mean, I've had videos that say, like, ANR directly is the reason why old gods exist. <laughs> like, directly. Like, they're her fault. Um, so. Why do we not ask the Pantheon of Death these questions? Well, because our characters are um, naive. Our character... It's the same reason our character doesn't really ask any questions about the, the, the prophecy of us being here. Like, I would love to ask them what, what they're talking about. Like, what, and you know, have them expand more upon that, but we don't. Our character is just kind of dumb and unwitting, um, for, usually. Um, and just kind of witnesses the story as it occurs. I think more recently they've been bringing more attention to the character's development and importance in the in the universe, and the her, and the, our connection to Azeroth specifically. I think. Um, but ultimately, I could also have a complete misread on on what Azerite is. I don't think I do, but it you know. I don't know. I don't think I do. Asking questions does not yield loot, zug zug, true. 
I know the other day you were talking about Nimue. Did you know in her loot table she had something about ANR? I do, yeah, yeah. Amulet of ANR's Chosen. Watch over this dream and weave order from its wild threads of life. Here's the thing. I think, um... At this point, I think that there's a possibility... Look, I, look, I'm just very suspect of Nor... of Nor... of Nor... Ugh. Of Norganon. Norganon's incredibly suspect. His fucking title? One of his titles is the Dreamweaver. You're telling me that he had nothing to do with this? Even though the Primus has a fucking memory of ANR and of Norganon for some reason? There's no way that the Dreamweaver didn't have anything to do with the creation of the Emerald Dream. There's no way. This thing's literally Weaver of the Cycle. Using a Verdant Matrix. It'd be kind of scary if the truth was is that it wasn't ANR speaking to Amon Thule. That'd be scary if the what if uh, the white eyes that uh, both he and or she and Norganon seem to have is uh, more of an indication that Norganon, who is a master of all magics, apparently, I wonder if he could be uh, kind of speaking through ANR, and that's why he doesn't really talk or ever do anything. That'd be fucking scary. He was like using her as a vessel. Looks at his looks at his brother Amonthul. It's time. Let's do it, motherfucker. Sits down. Doesn't say anything else the whole time. Could also explain why a &R is the one saying it is time to Amonthul. I feel like Norganon's more likely to actually have reason to say something like that than a &R, unless it's positioned from the perspective that a &R is, again, the usurper and the one in control. I could still have it backwards. Could even be a &R in such a position of power that she has control over the others, like I've said before. So there's lots of opportunities, differences, options, so. Anyway, how does one weave order? What bothers me most is how there's rousing and awakened order. How is it you have these rousing awakened elements, but order does not seem natural to the world? Yeah. Was this because the elements themselves, too, were ordered? I would assume that, that, that they were. Here's the thing. Norganon, not Norganon, Golganeth and Kazgaroth seem to be the titanic representations for the four elements. And remember... The Titans built prison planes and put the elements in them. That sounds pretty much like they ordered them. 